It is known to all of you simply by looking at the picture on the other side of the sanctuary that it is the Sunday of Christ the King. But a different kind of King, I will say from the very start. Because you can only understand the royalty of Christ. You can only understand the kingship of Christ if you look at Christ among the poor. The poor are our kings. And if you are not ready to look at the poor as our kings, you are not ready to accept Christ as our king. To the king who has chosen to be poor, to the king who has identified with the poor, to the king who says we will all be judged according to what we do to the poor, we must recheck our lives and ask ourselves what kind of king are we prepared to accept. At the sunset of our lives, we must be able to prove that we have friends with the poor, that we have friendship with poor people. When we say friendship with poor people, it does not only mean doling out and giving boxes of sardines and rice to them and then consider ourselves friends of the poor. We are not yet friends of the poor by doing that. We are only benefactors of the poor when we do that. Friendship demands equality. Friendship means dreaming the same dreams, enduring the same pains, laughing at the same happiness. Friendship means walking together and eating together and living together. My dear brothers and sisters, we who reach out to the poor in Cagayan, in Isabela, in Catanduanes, in Legaspi, we send help. But is that friendship with the poor? After sending help, these are our regular questions. I am very busy. I have so much to do. I will just deposit by GCash. I will just deposit by the bank. Let them be far away. What is worse than being busy? Worse than being busy is having nothing to do. Have you experienced having nothing to do? What is worse than having to give up something you really like? Worse than that is you have nothing to give. What is worse than rising from your bed even if you're very tired because a poor person is asking for help? What is worse than that? To be on your bed and not be able to rise because you're very sick. My dear brothers and sisters, when we complain about meaningful lives, when we complain about boring lives, when we complain about lost dreams, when we complain that we are very tired, we are not yet friends with the poor. Because the poor live with lost dreams. Gigising ng alas 4 ng umaga, magbabalot ng breakfast, ng lunch, para baunin sa trabaho, pipila sa sasakyan, makikipagsiksikan sa jeep, ma-expose sa COVID at walang mag-aalaga pero hindi nagre-reklamo kasi kailangan kong kumita para sa mga anak ko. Kailangan kong kumita para sa asawang may sakit. Kailangan kong kumita para sa magulang ko. If we can understand the insecurity, the meaninglessness, the boredom, the lost dreams of being poor, then we are friends with the poor. After friendship with the poor is favor of the poor. A friend of mine told me, you cannot go to heaven without an endorsement letter from the poor. A few months ago, we could not enter the Gupan 
without an endorsement letter to travel. That is traveling. But if you want to travel to heaven, you also need an endorsement letter. And that endorsement letter must be signed by the poor. A character reference signed by the poor saying that this man, this woman, enjoys our favor. And Lord, King of the universe, please accommodate him there. The truth, my dear brothers and sisters, is it is very easy to be blind to the poor, to ignore the poor. Rich people are not arrogant with the poor, but they are blind. And we cannot seek the favor of the poor by being blind, by keeping them afar. Mabuti na lang, malayo ang kagayan, malayo ang Tugigaraw, malayo ang Isabela, malayo ang Katanduanes, malayo ang Albay. Pero kapag nasa tabi natin sila, and we can see them with our eyes, and then we are uncomfortable giving them help, that is not favoring the poor, that is not considering the poor as our kings and our masters. Favor of the poor, friendship with the poor, and the last that we need from the poor is we need to be forgiven by the poor. Forgiven? Should not the poor be grateful because they are helped? If we have to be honest with ourselves, there is compassion with pride. There is something powerful in being compassionate with the poor. Because when you help, you are necessarily more powerful than the helped. Because when you help, you can complain and say, Ako na lang pa palagi. Sa akin na lang pa kayo palagi hihingi. Humingi naman kayo sa iba. Palagi na lang ako. It is compassion fatigue that we get tired helping them. And when we help them, we make them feel that they are so low. When we help them, we make them feel that we will not even touch their hands. When we help them, we make them feel that they should be distant. I will help you from a distance. From a distance, don't get near me. It is compassion fatigue. It is compassion arrogance. It is compassion pride. Because we are not treating the poor as equals. But why am I talking about poor people when it is Christ the King? Because as I told you, you will not be able to understand fully the kingship of Christ if you cannot understand the kingship of the poor. You will not be able to worship Christ our Lord and King if you are not ready to make friends with the poor because they are our bosses. If you are not ready to seek an endorsement letter from the poor as your gate pass to heaven. If the only thing that you can expect from the poor is to be grateful to you because you help them. My brothers and sisters, the poor must forgive us for our proud compassion, for our tired compassion, for our complaining compassion, for our distant compassion, for our detached compassion. Today, we honor Christ the King. You cannot honor Him unless you put the poor on our thrones and hail them as our masters, as our kings. There is no Christ the King without poor the King. <laughs>